Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to episode 288. I'm exhausted. It's a little after nine. I was up until after three last night working on the big whoop as I call it. This one, it's a 85-20 size tiny whoop build. Also the Frumblebee, I was working on that. Um, those two drones are the bane of my existence. I'm having so much trouble with them. This won't fly, it's like Like it just wobbles crashes this starts to fly in air mode but will not fly unless it's in air mode otherwise it just kind of like fumbles around on the surface ah very frustrating i'll give you guys some demos later of what they're doing in case one of you know what's going on you can help me out because nonetheless i'm exhausted i've got a house to show so uh i gotta get out of the house we've been getting a ton of happy birthdays to maddie on the channel so thank you guys it means the world to us maddie said she had a great birthday so that always makes you feel good as a parent but anyway let's uh hit the road yeah home from my showing went well it's a house that uh, these people are buying they wanted to come check it out again very excited for them I wanted to show you guys real quick what's going on with my drones these micro quads are cool and fun and in my mind there's something I could teach the girls how to fly is like a gateway into the hobby but they're not working so I've got two different builds going on the first one is what I'm calling the frumble bee and this guy here has what's called the B core flight controller in it and check this out to top it off the lens assembly broke off the front of the camera this is essentially like a tiny whoop style build like I said it's got the B core flight controller this is the bottom the front's facing this way if you know anything about these there are clockwise and counterclockwise motors so you can see my red and blue motors are on this side my black and white motors are on this side and then I've confirmed that my propellers are on and spinning in the right direction. The B core flight controller actually spins all the propellers in like a racing quad. They're all right, but let me show you what happens when I try to fly this sucker. All right, we'll do a little split screen action here. So if I'm just in regular angle mode, this is what happens. What it seems like to me is it will actually try to fly in air mode. Not sure what's going on with that. I might try to turn on air mode with angle mode and see what happens. Also, I wanna make sure that the accelerometer is on. So the frumblebee, not working, very frustrated. And then this guy here is what I'm calling the big whoop. And it is essentially a tiny whoop duct type of frame with the 85, 20 size brush motors. It's not one to fly right either. Let's see what the big whoop does. Ah. So the big whoop is having some issues too. I have about 20 minutes before I've got to be at Maddie's basketball game. So I think I'm going to focus on trying to get this one to fly. Plug it into beta flight and uh, see if there's anything I can figure out on it. So yeah. Having a lunch at Jane's house with Mark and Suzanne, Jane, Steve, and our family. Mark's oldest son turned one the day before Maddie's birthday, so it's his birthday too. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Maddie and Jason. Happy birthday to you. Can you do it? Oh. <laughs> hey! Home from lunch at Jane's house. Super nice. Had a good time with Chrissy's mom and brother and the whole clan. I've got a little under an hour before I'm showing some houses. I wanted to sit down and work on the racing quad a little bit. This is the new build I'm doing with the KISS flight controller and all that. My goal is to have it ready to go so I can fly it tomorrow. I am very frustrated and to a spot where I just 
feel like I want to give up on the micro quads. So as frustrating as the racing quads have been to fly well, they've always worked. Those micros, I just don't even freaking work right. So let's dig in and uh, see if we can't build this racing quad. Yeah. making some progress. I've got the flight controller tinned up. I've got my receiver lead installed, my voltage leads installed. My ESCs are all in. I just need to connect them to the flight controller and we're getting close. So right now I've actually got to bug out and uh, go show some houses. So uh, yeah, let's do it. I am back home from showing some houses and I'm gonna dig back into the racing quad. So let's continue building a drone. Yeah. the quadcopter. Definitely the cleanest build I've done. Very excited about those Luminear motors. Also very excited to get out and fly this thing. It is all set up, uh, ready to go. I might do a hover test in the basement. Check that sucker out. It's clean. Let's see if we can get it to hover. This has been the worst week for quadcopters that I can even remember. It's been the worst week for RC that I can remember. Pretty well devastating. So I got the racing quad built. I was wanting to fly it tomorrow. It's beautiful. Went to do a test hover and it did flips and crashed and burned and never even took off because one of the ESCs were bad. So I ordered another one of them. I'm gonna send the bad one back and we'll be here till like Tuesday or Wednesday. That sucks. So I thought, well, hey, that's why I've got two racing quads. I will just get the other one up and flying. So I got it out, started to uh, get it ready to go and all tuned up. And the receiver is bad in this one. The freaking receiver is bad. Then let's talk about earlier this week. I've been having trouble with the 8520 size build. So I built me an inductric sized build and it doesn't get off the ground. And then the lens broke off the front of the camera. I got my big whoop frame in for the 8520, so I thought I would build one of these. This one does cartwheels, I can't get it to fly. So frustrating. I can't even find the words to express my current state of mind. Eight minutes after 10 and I'm gonna go to bed. And tomorrow, I'm not gonna have a drone to fly. It looks like I'll probably spend tomorrow afternoon putting together the 3D printer, but it does seem like a good part of my will to tinker has went down the toilet. Hopefully if I get a good night's sleep, I'll be more into it tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Say a little prayer for my sanity and my tiny flying things. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Looking forward to sleeping good tonight. I haven't got a good amount of sleep for a while. Be sure to share, subscribe, comment, and hit that big old thumbs up if you think we deserve it. And I will absolutely see you tomorrow on Life in the Flyover. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the end card and hanging around for this long. How to find us if you have questions about real estate's below. Um, remember, we are real estate agents. If you need help buying or selling, I'm just gonna say anywhere in Missouri, give us a call, we would love to help you. If you're in a different area, different state, wherever you are, if you're thinking about buying or selling and you don't know what real estate agent you'd like to use, we've got this amazing service. Go ahead and send us an email at the address below and what we can do is we can connect you with the best agent 
in your area. We understand this business. I know you guys think we're in the vlogging business, but we are absolutely in the real estate business. We sell gobs of houses. We helped 102 different people sell and buy houses last year, and we would love to get you on the road to owning your own home. So be sure and click that. Remember, if you've made it this far, right up here to your right, you click there if you wanna see yesterday's episode. Uh, right down here, you can click if you wanna subscribe. You should definitely do that. And that's it, guys. We absolutely look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Life in the Flyover! <laughs> <laughs>